What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about an extension that allows you to repeat different movements on objects in order to create more complex copies. Um, before we get started I want to thank my newest supporters on Patreon. So a big thank you to Kevin Vanderhorst, Miguel S.A., and Mikichiru Sujikami. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to vote on the extension I cover every week, maybe also support the show, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so Memory Copy is an extension for SketchUp that allows you to make different edits and changes to objects inside of SketchUp and then repeat them. So this can be really powerful for creating new kinds of shapes that you couldn't previously create. So let's go ahead and just jump into it and we can talk about what this can do for you. Um, I will link to this extension in the notes down below. And um, as of right now, it is running on SketchUp 2019 on my computer. So that should work in the new version. Um, the way this extension works is it's a fairly simple extension. What it does is it allows you to take components so and I will note that I believe it only works on components but what it allows you to do is it allows you to kind of repeat different copies and changes to objects so let's say for example that I was to take this cube and I was to make it a component and we can just call this cube for right now so one of the things that you can do with this is you can create a copy of an object like this using the move tool in copy mode and then I could type in like times five and hit the enter key in order to create like a linear array. And so what that allows you to do is that allows you to move an object along the X or um, along an XYZ position and uh, repeat that movement over and over again, which is great. That's a very helpful thing. However, what happens when you want to move this over, up, and also along a rotation along the axis. So not just straight, but let's say we wanted this to rotate as well. Um, that's not really an option that you have in the base SketchUp installation, but it is something that you can do with memory copy. And so the way this works with memory copy is let's say we had this object right here, and let's say we wanted to make a copy of it along a circle. So let's say we wanted this to go like 60 degrees or something like that. But then we also wanted this to move up and down on this axis for each copy. So in this case, we want this to rotate and also move up and down. Well, what we can do is we can take this component and we can make our copy and put it where we want to be. And so all we have to do in order to do that is make our copy, um, making the movement that we want. And then we just want to take this first object and right click on it. And this extension is going to add an option called play it again. And what play it again is going to do is that's going to allow us to select an object and click on it in order to repeat whatever that movement was that we did on this second object. So you can see how every time I click on this, this allows me to make a copy based on whatever that movement point is. So you can see how this allowed me to create this kind of moving upward in a spiral really easily. And so from a more practical standpoint, one of the things that this might be good for is maybe creating something like a spiral staircase or something like that. So let's say we had this object and we were to create, or we were to call it something like step, and we were to do the same thing where we could just inference off this endpoint and then make a copy this way, but then move it up like this. Well, now we could take this first object, right click on it and click play it again and then click on the second object in order to repeat that movement over and over again. So you can see how you could use this to do something like creating a spiral staircase really easily. And so not only can you use this to create things that work in a spiral, you can also use this to move things kind of along um, forward and also rotate them. So like, let's say for example, I took this object and I made a copy of it. And let's say I wanted to move this maybe one foot down the way, but then I also wanted to rotate it. Well, all I would have to do is just take this and rotate it to whatever the change I want it to be. So I would just now take this object and right click on it and click play it again. And then you can see how I can click on this as many times as I want 
in order to create a rotating circular shape in here. And probably a better example is if I was to take something like this square, just because it's a little bit more visible. You can see how I can take this, use the move tool in copy mode to copy this along 12 inches. And then we'll go ahead and rotate this and we can go ahead and put this on 75 degrees as well. You can set the number of degrees to whatever you want. Um, but then you could just take this object, right click on it and click play it again. And you, so you can see how you could take this and create this kind of endlessly spiraling shape in here. And you could do some interesting things with this if you wanted to, like you could do something with your camera where it kind of flies through this, um, creating a really cool shape like that. But this is something that would take a fairly significant amount of time if you didn't have this extension in order to do this. And so another thing that this will do is this will also work if you scale something. So let's say I was to draw a cylinder and then push pull that cylinder up and make it a component. So let's say I was to take this and we'll just call this cylinder and then let's say we were to make a copy of this and scale it down to like 0.9 or something like that. So, and you can see how I used uniform scaling to make sure that this stayed centered in here and probably I'm going to need to move this um, along the blue axis just a bit to make sure it's sitting on this face. But that scale applied to a copy of that component will also get repeated using memory copy. So if I was to do play it again here, you can see how it would just continue scaling that object um, to 90% of what it was before allowing to create something like this. And so once you start figuring out the way this works, this allows you some real this allows you some really interesting options for things that you could do in creating complex shapes. So like for example, let's say I wanted to take this object and rotate it up along this axis, but also give it maybe a little bit of twist or something like that. So maybe I want this to twist maybe five degrees or maybe two degrees. So something like that. Well, since you already set this on a fixed point to a certain number of degrees, you can now take this and you do have to be a little bit careful. But now I could take this and I could create this spiraling spinning arch based solely on a center point and have it spin kind of like this. And one thing I wish this did is I wish it would let you set a number of times that you wanted to repeat that movement without clicking over and over again. I don't know that it really allows you to do that, unfortunately, but at least we have the option to come in here and repeat this over and over and over again. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Can you think of some uses for this extension? I just love having that sketch up conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new sketch up content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.